next stuff. Ready is leveling up like a champ. Alright, so let's see. Go back up. Avoid the monsters. No monsters, no monsters. Stop! Alright, so I actually won't be able to map the... You will not be able to map this first floor on your first pass. We'll get that other part uh, very shortly. So you come down here, this basement 2. Definitely some new monsters we can see down here, so let's uh, keep an way out. And the first room we want to enter is right over there to our right. As I was saying, come up here to the harp room, which is this, <laughs> which is named because it has a new harp for Eduardo. Lampia harp. There you are. We'll show Edward for a little bit. Um, it's a nice upgrade. Uh, we're not really going to use it too too much. Uh, basically, it does increase his damage from five to thirteen. Plus, uh, damage can cause a confuse confuse status. Um, that said, I kind of like his spells more than him attacking, but once in a while he will attack. A uh, couple things to note here. This particular room, I don't know why, but it's got a very specific uh, monster list. So, um, I don't know. Let me run around here for a couple seconds see what we got. Alright, here we go. Sandworm. This is like revenge time. It was Punk. Who uh, we could have met in the uh, the Capo Desert, but um, he is also in here, and he's actually also outside of uh, the castle area too. All right, so he is asleep, and this is going to be super easy. <laughs> nice. If you ever uh, got killed by that guy, you get some nice revenge here. Good experience too. Two levels up. Cecil is level twenty. Increase in strength. Edward is level 12, increasing all kinds of stuff. Very good, very good. Alright, so uh, that is the monster I really wanted to see. Um, uh, yeah, let's just keep on going, because we'll see the other ones later in the dungeon, I'm pretty sure. So that was the harp room, and we'll continue going south. And you don't want to go south, so you can go, well, you want to go south enough to get this Arctic Wind. Hey! New guys! Alright, so these guys are called... What are they called? Yellow Jellies. And they are weak to thunder. Um, basically, like most jellies, they are um, uh, very good against uh, physical attack, so... They have high physical defense, I should say. But uh, thunder will knock them out really quick. Um, and I apologize for the, uh, I know the jellies, they get a little, there's this line kind of in the uh, display, and it's kind of because of the way I do the smoothing. Um, if you ever noticed, a lot of the, uh, the words and I guess the graphics are kind of have this, like, really, like, kind of, like, outline-y type style. Um, and that's basically because this is a DS game, and, um, you know, we're kind of increasing the resolution. And so you have to either show it very pixelated, or you can kind of stylize it a little bit to make it a little bit more pleasing. And that's what I do. But, uh, let's keep on moving. Actually, let's, uh, let's heal up a little bit while we're here in the menu system, contemplating render systems and their artifacts. Um, I want to go up first. And... I'll look so that's good. All the way up here first. We'll get the treasures. Another potion. Take that. Uh, okay, let's see. Keep moving the bridge. Fall some more treasure. Monsters all around us. So, just gonna walk down here, just to make sure I map out this entire area. Um, then we're gonna go up to the cave. This will take us back to the first floor. So we can finish mapping this place out after we fight our battles. And we've got another level! 
12 to 13. Speed is going up. Very good, very good. Alright. And we complete the B1 map, get five potions. Always nice. And in here, we're going to get some more treasure. Some save point action. Alright, so now that I don't have some monsters going to bother me, how is everybody doing? Hope everybody's having a good day. Ah, uh, for me, today is June 8th. Saturday, June 8th. And uh, having a nice time. It's definitely, like, it's a shame that, uh... I want to be doing more of these games, but I kind of keep finding myself in a scenario where uh, I end up working most of the week, and I can only do these on the weekends, so... Um, we'll see if we can record enough episodes to uh, last us the week. I uh, I want to do a couple more of these, and then I definitely want to do a couple more Galaxies, too. Uh, Mario Galaxy, that is. But uh, we might end up doing those tomorrow. Um, so while you're here, you might as well save... Just to be safe. And I get my buttons messed up where I'm I know I don't want to do all this. Yeah, I'm getting... I don't know. My buttons are off. I feel like I'm used to the like, Super Nintendo Final Fantasies where the action command is on the far r right of the controller. And here the command is the inner one. Anyway, I digress. Yay, jellies! We all, everybody loves jellies. There's always room for jello. Alright, so we keep on traveling south. To the right, or the left, left, right. Whatever. Come up here. Man, if I had a nickel for every turtle I fought in here, jeez. Ice rod, so if you missed the ice rod, you can grab one there. Uh, there's another item that's kind of a repeat coming up. Might be right up here. Let's see. Shadow blade, so there you go. If you didn't get the shadow blade in the uh, underground waterway, that is another place where you can get it. Unfortunately, you cannot dual wield shadow blades. That would have been awesome. But, uh, we can fight some jellies. Oh no, I didn't get my attack in. My command in. Alright, we'll let these guys auto-attack for a while. Even auto-attacking, like, I don't know, these yellow jellies are not too hard. Like, the fact that, you know, Cecil could kill them in one shot. I mean, they're supposed to be designed to, uh, not take that. And now they're asleep, so this is just getting stupid easy. What's that, OS X? I got an update, and you're going to ruin it by invading the corner of my screen? Thanks so much. I really appreciate that. Leave. <laughs> Sorry to break the illusion, folks, but yes, this is being emulated. Alright, let's see. Almost done here. Map complete, get three Phoenix Downs. Alrighty, so this is the Antlion's Nest. Uh, this is the boss room. Um, you can run straight down to fight the boss. I'm actually going to walk around a little bit because I want to try to finish our bestiary, and this is the one battle we definitely needed. Uh, I'll use all of that again. Stone Gaze! Gotta watch that. So that'll petrify uh, Cecil slowly over time. Um, if we leave battle before he's petrified, it should last after battle. But if he does, then I hope I have a soft. <laughs> Alright. One guy's asleep. Attack. Attack. Ice Rod. Alright, so that was the goblin, three goblins and a basilisk. And the other uh, the, the other monster we're looking for are the Leshies. Which are like those snake women. Um uh, let's heal up. Make sure we're all good to go. Uh where are you?
are you, Leshies? I know you're around here somewhere. Come fight me. Yeah, whoever goes all the way around here. I feel like there should be, like, treasure or something. Some good reason to come all the way down here. Not these guys. Close to level on up, but still no Leshies. So let's keep on looking. Come on, come out, come out wherever you are. I won't hurt much. There we go. Preemptive strike on the Leshies. And, uh, you know, as much as we uh, looked for these guys, or girls, or whatever the hell they are, they are not terribly exciting. They do not die to uh, one-hit Ice Rod, but they do fall asleep easily, as we can see right here. And Cecil will kill him in one hit. Critical at that. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, just wanted to get them done. Get them in our log. Our log book. In the meantime, we at least uh, got to grind on a few monsters and uh, get some experience. So, with that said, let's use our magic and heal up for some exciting conclusions to the antline den. So we'll just come down here. This is where the antline lays her eggs. Where it sparkles. Eek. <laughs> There's nothing to fear. For boss time with the antlion. So this guy is not too hard. Um, what you basically want to do is you want to keep an eye on his eyes. So he will have um, white eyes, and you want to use magic on him. And when he gets the red eyes, you want to use. Um, Oh, not that. Uh... Why is it? Oh. Uh-oh. What did I do? Oh, no! I hit Radio! <laughs> oh, my God! She's dead! Oh, shit. Uh... I didn't mean to do that. Um... What the hell? Oh, my God. What an awful, awful time to mix up my buttons. Alright, so I'm gonna use Phoenix down on her. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I was trying to, like, skip my turn. Oh, no. Uh, let's get him going on heals. Uh, no, I don't want him to attack. I want him to use... a potion on Rydia. And she can use Blizzard on the airline. So, wow, I, I was trying to say... Uh, the key to this guy is... <laughs> not, not killing your own team members. Um... He basically counterattacks. So if you attack him when, so if I were to do a physical attack when he has white eyes, he's going to counterattack. And the same thing with the. Uh... Oh, there you go. So I'll attack now. So you want to keep. You only want to do physical attacks when he's got red eyes. You want to do magic when he has white eyes. That's basically the key to the fight. But oh my god, I'm so sorry, Radio. Did not mean to stab you with my darkness sword. Um, so yeah, I'll attack. And he should be going to white soon. Yeah. And he's weak to Blizzard, so definitely want to use that one. Darkness! So Darkness is great. I mean, I like Darkness when you have a dedicated healer, which currently is Edward via Life's Anthem. But if you pay attention, um, Life's Anthem does, like, a ton of damage. Or, I mean, it does a ton of healing. When, um, as it's active. Alright, this guy should be going down soon. Red Eye. Bam. Alright, I'm gonna skip her turn. Cecil can attack. Uh, what do I want to do with her? 
And he's dead. Holy crap, I made that harder than it needed to be. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Rudy, I did not mean to stab you. But, uh, alright. Antline is dead. Level up! Cecil levels up, and Edward levels up. Cecil is level 21. Edward is level 15. Hooray, hooray! And we have our sand pearl. Yay! Why would it try to harm us? Something is afoot. No, oh, you're afoot. Well, you're a hand. I've got to get back to Rosa. But this episode's gone way too long. We'll have to do it next time. We actually are going to have to do it next time. So, yeah, uh, I'm going to exit here. And uh, one of the items we got here was an emergency exit. And I'm just going to use that to get the heck out of here. Jump back to the world map. But, um, so yeah, so that was the Antlion's Den, and we have the Sand Pearl, and now we have to get back to Rosa, but we're going to have to wait and do that in the next episode, because this is way too long. But thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.